to my huge channel everybody today i want to talk with you about a topic that i kind of neglected in my last videos i haven't been talking about menswear a lot lately and i know why this also happened because we had like so many shows going on so many trendy topics etc that i was kind of not concentrated on menswear anymore even though i have to say menswear is my weak spot and i think the first ever video no not the first but like in my first videos i used to talk a lot more about menswear and i know that this has also been kind of missing in my videos so i decided to make another one because also i feel like it is winter time like um we have like also under 10 degrees now in germany so somebody please make me leave this country uh, if you have any options if you have a couch where i can stay please tell me where it is warmer because the older i get uh, the more i just hate cold weather even though style wise i love it more because i think you can just wear more beautiful items in the winter can't we i mean in summer it's usually just like you, you just are not able to wear the same amount of fabrics on each other you know you are just supposed to wear a shirt that is probably made of some cotton jersey or something and um, well i personally think it's really hard to look good in the summer and uh, not be too hot but in the winter it's i think easier because you can layer stuff and you can layer more fabrics and since i'm like very textile and fabric oriented i of course love winter anyway but i thought um it's a hard time also because if you do not have a good repertoire of uh, winter clothing you might also not like winter and it took me definitely a few years since i had like my go-to items so i forgot to say the most important thing um at the beginning and since the sun is like going down and you will realize that the setting is not the same i will just tell you that this is the end of the video and uh, you need to wait till the end you know it's getting dramatic just kidding no this was just there is no cliffhanger but if you liked my videos my previous videos and liked also this one will you will have liked this one guys i'm sick okay um do not forget to subscribe to this channel it's really important for me and i see that we are growing a little so it's you know it's 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 a self-fulfilling prophecy we are a huge channel all together so i would love it if you would subscribe or follow me on instagram where i also share a lot of uh, stuff in my stories or my fashion thoughts daily and um yeah let's start with the video so some people also wrote me like okay tuba i like your videos i think it's cool what you're talking about but usually you just talk about women's wear so how can i implement that on my men's wear wardrobe and i know we're all fans of the unisex wardrobe and we want everything to be genderless but let's be honest at the end of the day there are still a lot of pieces that are not genderless and that, that this was this will also stay for a long while i mean as long as we like classical clothing and conservative pieces that i personally for example also like you know if you look at the new new pieces that are very 60s inspired we definitely see here some genderness but um that does of course not mean that anybody of any other gender that is usually not um associated with that sort of dressing shouldn't wear it but i think still um the bigger amount of people still wear like not genderless clothing so what I did was, because I'm a huge Vestia Collective fan since like I would say five or six years and I have also sold a few pieces there. Um, I have to say I'm a big fan, but uh, the reason why I am pretty good at Vestia Collective, I would say, is because I just have this huge education of eBay. My eBay time is really like, um, it's kind of a horror story because I remember like, I think I just got internet at home when I was like, 14 or 15 so it's pretty late like my parents really didn't want to have any internet um that's why i read books guys <laughs> this really improved i think my education actually and i have to say when everybody was like on these social networks back then maybe some of you from germany you know knuddles everybody was on knuddles and flirting and stuff and i was 15 and really like minding my own business and not feeling very um flirty back then I still like already like dresses so it's a re really other thing and actually everybody thought I was just a sick person but I wasn't on eBay and I was just um, searching for stuff I only had the option to look at eBay and 
um, I really liked vintage clothing and back then also like not too vintagey vintage clothing but I used to surf for hours if I'm that person scrolling through these 10,000 pieces when they say like okay you have this one keyword you have 10,000 um, 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 options and I, I will just look at all of them and I have the time I will find the time I will not sleep but I will find the time to find my piece you know the the item I'm searching for I will do it and um, in my mind it will be worth it so um, that's why I also did this for men's wear now I'm top dame it's nine minutes what the hell I have been talking about I okay I did a list for men's wear and I think it's a precious list because I think you won't find anyone else scrolling through so many pages I did previously you know I just had the story because you know I like don't have a lot of time to film so I just um, posted a story where I asked you which other um, designer brands you would like to see more in men's because I thought like, okay, I will also have a look on that. But usually I feel like, guys, you're telling me like, yeah, I would like to see a bit more Vivian Westwood. And if I propose you some Vivian Westwood pieces, everyone's like, me, mm, no, this is too fancy. This is too colorful. Uh, I want uh, the, the, the Ami pieces. Yeah? yeah, I want the APC pieces. Yeah, that's what you do. So if you talk about something, guys, you also need to do it. And also I'm a little sick, guys. I do not know if you have realized that by my beautiful voice. Um, you know that transition trend on TikTok where like, I'm sick. <sighs> and then they, they do like this and then it, it, there comes out a beautiful face. This will not happen here. Yeah, this is what you get. So, um, funny thing, I, I shared the story why I asked you exactly. And the brands you said, it's interesting because they are already in my selection mostly. It was also Anne de Milmistia, Vivian Westwood, it was also APC, and there was Jazanda, Le Maire, all of these things. And I think, um, to be honest, we all want, everybody wants to wear these pieces, but they're just like fucking expensive. Like, let's be honest, um, I love Le Maire and I think men should just be soaked in, in Le Maire and just come out of it. And that, that would be enough, you know, you don't have to, you don't need ever any other clothing. Le Maire is doing like such a good job. Um, oh, this is also one of my priority labels when it comes to menswear, also Jazanda. Guys, you, you already know what's good. You know, I just, I'm just doing here the, the talking work, but, but you already know what's good, definitely. So I have taken out some pieces. Let's start with the, I think what you need in a men's wardrobe, and actually you can applicate to every other agenda. Good pants, guys, it's like the most important thing, I would say good pair of wool pants that fit well and fitting well i mean it, do, it doesn't mean it needs to be like sleek or anything it just it can also be baggy but the fabric is very important two or three sweaters you know like this cashmere uniqlo sweater i know no, it's like it's 80 or 90 euros so you spend it once i mean if you get one two in a year it's enough like for the next two or three years and then a good coat maybe a good cardigan and a good pair of shoes i would say two pairs of shoes so you do not always wear the same ones because i'm i'm like very shoes focused uh, and i would even say even though i'm not a sneaker person i don't like to wear sneakers um i don't feel like um i don't feel very comfortable wearing them uh, well my feet do but my soul doesn't so let's start with the pants um i used i, I definitely uh, try to find pieces that are as cheap as possible because Let's be honest, if we need a full wardrobe and if you want to change your wardrobe, maybe, you know, if you see this video as an attempt to kind of improve your personal style or if, to find your style, you definitely do not have like thousands of euros usually. So I started with pieces and me neither. So, um, of course, I start try to find pieces that are below 100 euros. Uh, and this is like secondhand. I mean, no, I mean, this is not like full price. Um, I will maybe make a Yolks video or something because I'm a really dedicated Yolks shopper and usually I find also, you know, like Gisanda pieces for 100, 150 euros sometimes. So I found, for example, this Gisanda pants and it's 75 euros. Uh, I do not know, of course, if you ship it to the uh, US what happens, but see this video as an example of how to and what to look for at the real real also for example i also love the real real but i also have the feeling that, that european brands are really like a bit more expensive there um it, it definitely should be since it's usually produced here and needs to needs to go there etc you know the taxes and duties and everything so maybe they're a bit more expensive so one point in life where we're lucky to be european are our european brands 
And I realized the focus I have here is Gisandra, it's uh, Giswanda. It's Gisanda uh, Semiake. Uh, what else do I have? Dries van Noten, Stefan Cook, and more Gisanda, more Gisanda, Dries van Noten, Calvin Klein, 205 by 39, New York City, Martin Rose, Balenciaga, and um, that's mostly it. Yeah. These are like the brands I've found the best pieces for. Uh, I have to say, to me, these platforms aren't really perfect for big brands. You know, if you're looking like for a Prada piece and you're trying to catch it like for a good price, you probably shouldn't search on Vestia for it. Maybe like places like eBay are better because these uh, websites are usually being used from people who are very fashion affinite and know a lot about fashion and people putting their stuff on it usually also know their real market worth, which is totally fine because nobody should sell, the, sell their stuff way below the, the the estimated price or something but it's not good for us so let's be honest it's not good so if you're looking like for the monolith shoes of prada i think it will be hard to find a good pair of this here for example i looked for uh, balenciaga pieces a lot of balenciaga pieces they were so expensive and especially the menswear i feel like women's wear is cheaper but Balenciaga um, menswear is so expensive on Westia and I definitely think that's because we have all these hype beast guys, you know, putting their stuff on it and then they will still want like 700 euros for their sweater. I'm like, isn't that the original price? Anyway, so brands like Gisanda, Le Maire, Dries von Lothar kind of under the radar and I think not being shopped a lot. So that's why you get like for 70 euros Dries van Lothar pants and Gisanda pants. Um, I will blend some in, but I will share all the links um, of all the products. I think they are like 20 uh, in the in the text info place down the video. So you can have a look. I found these shorts. I want to have them. It's size M and um, I think it's too big for me, but I love this Gisanda shorts for example. It's 85 euros. I mean, come on. And the good thing about Gisanda is, I mean, people who deal with the brand know it well. Mm, you can't really differentiate if a piece is 10, 20 years old or just the latest collection usually because they have like 20 navy blazers and you just don't know what it is. It's, it's really like timeless and I mean this is the epitome of timelessness, this brand and this is great, I love it and um, for example this shirt here, it's 89 euros but this also has this, um, it has this sports, but it's not taffeta but you know this cotton that kind of is a bit shiny and looks a bit different. I think it's beautiful and it still has the tags on it. Um, I mean, imagine wearing this shorts, this shirt, a blazer over it. And then, for example, I mean, I also cannot kind of see these Martin Rose shoes anymore. But you could wear these ones. These are like, it's not the cheapest. They're still like 291 euros. Uh, but I think they... Um, it's a trendy piece, I would say, but I haven't seen this model very often and I think they're beautiful. I have shown them, funny story, I think like in my Essence sale video I made like in December or January, I showed these and they haven't been worn. Wow, I love these shoes and I would like to get them. Which size are they? It's a 39, but it says men's size. Oh, okay. Okay, my dad will always joke, you know, like people who are going to prayer and doing like their prayer wash, you know, maybe I've seen it in some oriental videos. They usually, like the old men, um, tend to wear their leather shoes and just, you know, like step on the back of their shoes and it, after a period of time it looks awkward because they're washing their feet so often, like five times a day. And everyone's like, when I'm running around, they're like, ha ha ha, are you having your prayers wash? And I'm like, maybe I did. You don't know. Anyway, this is a great pair of shoes. So, um, the other pieces I have. Another uh, pants of Gisanda. A Stefan Cook sweater, if you like to be extravagant, I think is an interesting piece that you could spend money on. It's not cheap, but you know what? No sweater is. I also love the Marni ones, but knitwear isn't something that is just low on price and we need to get used to it. Uh, I love this one. I think I would fall in love with you if you would cross the road wearing this green Stefan Cook sweater. I think it's also a timeless piece of him and it is one of his um best seller so even if you like wear it like for one or two years i think you can still sell it now come let's come to oh also this jazanda blazer is still like 270 euros why have i put it here it's expensive but anyway maybe some of you have it but the the shininess etc you know it just got me like and okay i ah, know i know it is a full suit you have the pants and the blazer 
and just imagine like wearing this you know like a white shirt underneath and you know then just some random sneakers or just a random pair of leather shoes and you know like then a cross body bag or you know something and then i don't know wear something on your hat or it's just, just it's just a look you know it's a clean look where you, and where like i don't know you can wear something like jewelry you know that and silver for example and i think it will be a look it will look very clean very chic chic and sophisticated and you will still make your approach with it. This Dries van Noten coat, just, you know, the moment I saw it, I was just like, marry me. Can, can we marry clothing? I mean, if somebody would cross my way wearing this, I really can't guarantee anything. You know, maybe I will just rip it off, uh, pull it off. It's, for example, 460, but I think uh, it's, it's so interesting because this tie-dye effect also looks like it's an iris or something. You know, it looks like the eye. It's I, I just love the patterns of Dries van Oort. I think they are so well thought and the color combination is also so beautiful. And in my latest video, I also said like, I love it. It's so brutally beautiful. And you know, that's exactly again what I mean. You wear wool pants, you have nice shoes, and then you wear this coat and it's it fin. There's nothing to add anymore. Here's a real vintage piece of Isim Jacke that I kind of like because I kind of like this year these barber jackets. Um, I think this is cool. I have to say when something is like too much worn out, I don't like it. But I imagine, oh, it has also like some color issues. I'm taking this one back, but it's an interesting piece. I would also like in, I think uh, when vintage is like very good is in terms of like these military pieces that are like authentic military. This is something that I also like. You can have like these butterfly tops or Y2K things, you know, baggy pants, you know, uh, everything. But these are all things that are going to leave after a certain time. But military and all these things that are based on something very old and classical are things that are just going to stay so you can invest in it. For example, like polo shirts. I also kind of want like Fred Perry shirts to come back. I don't know. While I was scrolling, I just I looked at some Prada sport uh, polo shirts because I haven't seen them anywhere and you can also find them pretty cheap you know they're like also normal price not too expensive i also found on vestia some for like 80 euros and i was wondering like are, i mean a pol i know that polo shirts had a comeback especially in women's wear but i haven't seen it is it still like too lame for men's i don't know but i think it's sweet i like polo shirts and i also i, I think i would like the fred perry one because it kind of needs a revival and I know they also had like some issues because they get associated easily with like some other things, but that's okay. So when you want a bit more color, I also found like two Dries van Noten shorts where I think you can implement it. You know, you can wear like a shirt, like a very clean business shirt, and then you wear like this underneath. And I think, okay, it's like 200 euros for a pair of Bermudas, but it's Dries and look at the colors. I mean, the flowers, it's like the only brand that can make me buy flowers. You can wear it, for example, with this Gisana jacket. It's only 240 euros. It's it's really in a good price and it looks like it's in, in a very good condition. And I loved it. Uh, right now, I mean, maybe also because of the season, I'm very much into like these rain coats. And I think this one looks very good. Um, And it has this, what kind of logo is it? It's Gisana Plus. And it has never been wa worn before. It's like a blue salon jacket. I love it. This is a piece I would recommend you getting. You know, get this as your versatile sportswear inspired thing. And for example, this Dries van Noten, very basic, but wool coat for 280 euros, looks beautiful. It's a size 54, but it looks very well made. I have a wool coat from Dries van Noten and people, I mean, it has like very obvious patterns and stuff, but people really stop me on the street and are like, where is your coat from? And I'm like, it's Dries, guys. It's it's Dries. It's just Dries. Yeah, well, these are kind of the items uh, that I loved. Um, also here, another Josander blazer for 90 euros. Then um, the suit I have shown you. And there's also another blazer for 110 euros. There are like so many pieces. And um, for example, this Balenciaga jacket, that was like the only one where I thought, okay, maybe it's worth the money. It's 750, not cheap at all. But um, I love that piece, so I'd like to have it.
forget it. Or this Calvin Klein. I mean, I loved, loved, loved Ralph Simmons Calvin Klein collection, this 205 West 39 New York City one. And this is, for example, a turtleneck. And here you have a little logo. You know, if you think like, okay, too bad, this is like very minimalistic right now. You can still have this little logo here, you know, and then wear your button button shirt or just another sweater over it to make it look a bit more interesting. And the last piece is a little accessory of Ambush. I re usually like Ambush. I do not know why. I mean, the clothing is is not making me happy at all. Uh, it's really like the exact opposite. But when I saw that and I was like, okay, imagine like a guy coming and he's wearing a wool blazer and then he has this little rose uh, accessory on it. What? It's, oh my God, it's an earring. Guys, it's an earring. I really thought it's it's a brooch or something. Dame. So if you're wearing ear, <laughs> so if you were having, um holes in your ears i think it's still sweet i was so worried but i think definitely you can wear it as a brooch you can just make like another um click clip on it and then you can wear it on your jacket i think that's sweet um yeah well this is actually my collection and if you want further looks uh, this is like my this is like my personal menswear wardrobe if i would be a dude and would have to shop i think i would shop like two or three pieces of these definitely one or two pants uh, and the blazers were like 100 euros I, I would definitely go for one and i love my little ambush rose actually so uh, you know wear like another coat over it or raincoat you know you can get like i really like like the moody ones as well they're not very thick but also pretty cool and then you just wear your hat um you know your beanie or something i think that would be a look and i love the martin rose ones and the price is really good i mean i've been eyeing them like pretty long on matches and on sale and um, it's a good price for 290 euros. So I hope that you kind of like this video. I do not know if this helps you, but I really like it if people also pick for me the stuff. So I thought maybe you would also like that. And I will definitely concentrate more on that. And since it's not really sales season, I didn't want to make a video, you know, where I talk about like the big retailers because uh, let's be honest, we're not buying the stuff like in on real price. So, but I will definitely make one for Black Friday, and I also uh, fill up my wish list right now to make it as easy as possible. And yes, I hope that you like this. And now I'm eating just my fruits that my Turkish dad, you know, um, I'm a bit sick, so he came here with this very winter friendly vitamin C fruits. Um, thing just gonna try to get healthy i would say yeah and then coffee of course so yeah that's been it guys and of course if you like my previous videos and my content do not forget to subscribe to my channel here and also on instagram um where i also share a lot of stuff in my stories i'm a lot more active there everything is just freaking me out here